All right, hello everyone, and welcome to a new Let's Play for the channel, Mega Man, the original one released back in 1987. Let's not waste any time and jump right into it. I'll see you guys after this exciting intro. Now, wasn't that such an exciting intro? Yeah. Anyway, the first stage that I always like to select is Cut Man. Alright then, uh, might as well get into the controls so that everyone is uh, well acquainted. A to jump, B to shoot. Get it? Got it? Good. Let's go. Okay, and this is the first enemy we see in Cutman Stage, Bladers, which are also my least favorite enemies because of how they come in and attack- Oh my god, get over here! Ugh. Sometimes they come up so close to you that you barely are able to shoot them at times. So annoying. Anyway, these little red things I'm picking up, uh, the original Mega Man was the only Mega Man game to have a scoring system. As you can see on the top of the- as you can see- as you can see from the top of the screen, every time you kill an enemy, they're worth a certain amount of points. Every time you pick up those little balls, at the end of the stage, they'll be calculated up and then added to your score. Uh, this enemy right here is known as the Beak. Uh, one thing to note is, when I'm giving these enemy names, I'm referencing the original North American Instruction Manual, which is kind of infamous for being... Uh, it's kind of... Oh my god. It's kind of famous for being one of the... One of, if not the worst instruction manuals in pretty much all of video gaming history. And oh boy, I'm going to have a lot of fun referencing that throughout the Let's Play. Uh, but why I mention that now is because some enemies, they're official name that they've held throughout the series was changed in the North American version, so uh, I believe Bladers are known as something entirely different in uh, the European or Japanese versions and later Mega Man games released in North America. Anyway. Uh, I know that this game is pretty, uh, famous for being rather hard, but, uh, if you really want to get into this game, which I do recommend, I would say definitely take your time. You have no reason to, like, you have no reason to rush through this game, is what I'm trying to say here. Anyway, these are known as fleas, and what I just picked up there was, uh, health. So, Mega Man obviously takes damage, and he can recover damage by picking up those health pickups from enemies. But, uh, in this game in particular, okay, that was my fault, but this game in particular, they're pretty stubborn about giving you health. And it also suffers from another gameplay problem where they'll, ha they'll have drops that you won't need, period. Like, uh, you can end up picking up health even if you don't need health. And I'll sh you'll, we haven't seen it yet, but there's also something called weapon energy. Enemies can drop that even if you don't need weapon energy kind of a old archaic time game to game design decision gosh anyway uh like i said the first robot master we're coming up against is cut man and luckily the north american instruction manual gave him a bit of a backstory as well so cut man was designed to function as a lo oh my god sorry for freaking out there that was actually a uh, Really big health increase. Uh, those really big ones recover, I believe, 10 units of Mega Man's health. Uh, anyway, Cutman's backstory. Designed to function as a lumberjack, powerful sawtooth scissor-like instrument protrudes from head, capable of gnawing through giant forests and timbers. And now you know all you need to know about Cutman. Alright, well, I might as well get into the... Okay, I also put that as a num... Oh, this is weapon energy, by the way. I might as well get into the thumbnail, and... Yeah, so, the thing is, this thumbnail, uh, which is the cover for Mega Man 1 for North America, is pretty famous for being one of, if not the worst, box covers in video gaming history. So, it, the reason why that... the way it is, is... Partially why, um, so in the Japanese, for, so in Japan, Mega Man is known as Rockman, and, uh, when he's a regular boy, I guess, however you put it, uh, he's known as Rock, 
the reason why he's known as Mega Man in uh, North America, um, this, these are big eyes, absolutely horrible enemies. They do like 10 damage to you, which is really ridiculous damage. So I just take the hit and I don't care. Uh, the enemy that we passed by earlier is known as a flying shell. Uh, anyway. The enemy right here, they're known as screw... Or not, yeah, screw bombers. I don't know why. Anyway. Uh, what I'm doing here is trying to get them before we activate, because sometimes they'll activate an attack so fast that you're practically bound to take damage. Anyway. Uh, actually, I'll continue with my story a bit later. We're up to the end stage where you'll find the Robot Master, in this case, Cutman. Uh, so for Cutman, what he likes to do is uh, throw his blade at you. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I'm probably gonna lose this, which I actually don't care too much about. Yeah, I I really don't care because uh, you get two lives and um. This for in this game, and so I usually just I try to obviously I try to win, but um if I don't it doesn't matter because I'll have like a full tank of health afterwards. Uh, when it comes to Cutman, my strategy is to it's basically just a war of attrition, which I guess is debatably all Mega Man bosses, but uh this one in particular is just a war of attrition. Like I get down here, I shoot him. And I basically lock them in a pattern like this where, like, I can constantly shoot them. Uh, I'll do much more damage to him than he'll do to me because my Mega Buster, which is this little pea shooter here, does three damage to him, which is actually a lot for a boss in the Mega Man series. Uh, but yeah, we just beat Cutman, and every time you defeat a Robot Master, you get a version of their weapon. So we're going to get the cutting blades that he has, which, frankly, are not that good. Uh, next we're gonna do a left man. But, uh, yeah, I'll show off what Cutman's weapon does when we get into this level. So, you just go to the select screen and then the cutting blades. So, they kind of go in, like, half of a figure eight. Which is not that good because, you know, enemies are kind of not in figure eight, so obviously. Well, not all of them, anyway. Uh... But I really, I only use the cutting blades to take out those enemies, which are known as spines. They're really annoying enemies, as if you're on the same platform as them, they'll move really fast to try to hit you. And uh, you kind of see that mechanic a bit more being annoying uh, when you go to Iceman stage, which is actually the stage we'll do after this. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is don't change your weapon. Or actually, don't go to the pause screen, period while you're on a ladder, because if you go to the pause screen, Mega Man will just drop afterwards. Ta-da. Okay, this, these are annoying sections. These are called Watchers. What they'll do is they'll shoot these two little beams of electricity at you. And of course, being an old game, it has a style knockback, so if you get hit, you get knocked off. And it's really annoying when you get high up these ladders, because uh, you'll be knocked down further back, and then the enemies will respawn, you have to do it, rinse, rock, switch, repeat. Anyway, uh, if you want to continue on through the level, just go to the right. If you want to get more weapon energy, which is what you need to refill your weapon, go to the left. Uh, one thing you want to be careful, though, is with that first platform that spawns, you're going to want to... Uh, there we go. With that first platform that spawns... Actually, I'm going to show it right now. So you see this block I'm standing on? You're going to want to stand uh, as much on the left side as possible while standing over it. Because if you're in... The right there. If you're in the same place as the block when it spawns, it's going to automatically push you, and if you're too far to the right, then it's just going to push you back down, and you have to deal with those watchers again. Honestly, I don't mind the disappearing blocks in this game too much. They're, it's a fairly simple pattern to keep track of, anyway. But, okay. Uh, let's see. Well, Leckman. Leckman's backstory. Dr. Wright, yeah, I'll get into that in a second. Dr. Wright's electrifying creation planned for conducting electricity. Ah. Okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting to have that happen. I may actually uh, get a game over because I probably won't be able to defeat a Lek Man on my first try like this. But let's hope for the best, I suppose. 
Or someone drops or an enemy come on! Or an enemy drops a uh one up. Cause that happens though very rarely. Uh anyway, well that was let me start over. So elect Dr. Wright's electrifying creation plan for conducting electrical operations, even supervising nuclear power plants. Which I must say, it's kind of makes me think, uh, it's kind of, kind of, stop hitting me! Anyway, uh, makes me kind of, I mean, I kind of know get why, but, uh, it's kind of funny that there's no nuclear man in the game. But, uh, this right here is called a magnet beam. You either can get a left man's weapon and come back and break these blocks, or you get guts man weapon and come back and break these blocks, but how I like to do it, I never will have guts man's weapons by now. But anyway, we got more of these spikes, so we're gonna Yeah, you see they go really fast if they if you're on the same platform as them. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna beat the level on this try, but uh oh well. Uh, do yourself a favor, always come up the left side, because on the right side, there's a block that you need a left man or guts man's weapon, like I mentioned earlier, right there, next to where those fleas are, and, well, if you don't have it, that means you have to go all the way back down, past electricity, and then climb up this side, so it's kind of a jerkish design, really. Well, I should be more specific, if you don't have the magnet beam, then don't go up the right side because you can't jump that high, obviously. Anyway. Uh, okay. So while we're getting near the end here, I might as well go back into how the infamous box art came to be. So, Mega Man is known as Rockman in Japan. And so, Capcom's developers for the American version of the game fought- Oh man. Rockman is too cute for American audiences, so we gotta change it. So, they changed his name to Mega Man. And after that, they, uh... So that's why he's known as Mega Man here. And they also, they felt that the Japanese box art was too childish for American audiences as well. So they got a... So they recruited a guy to do new box art. But they... From what I've been... Told, they gave him very little time, and he had no reference material, so he saw nothing of what Mega Man looked like, and he saw nothing of what the game looked like, and he basically had to go off of that. So, as you can probably tell, he put a lot of emphasis on the man rather than the Mega part, and that's how he got the box art. Oh, okay. Luck Man's probably my least favorite boss for two reasons. One is because of this. They start you facing away from him, which I feel is kind of... kind of... Come on, come on! Oh my god. Oh, that was close. Okay, so what I was getting at was, um, sometimes they start you off facing away from him, which is kind of cheap because sometimes he can get off his first attack, and that goes into second problem. A Lux Man's electric beam does 10 damage to you, which is an awful lot. That's like... Because, um, I believe Mega Man has... 24 health, but, uh, Elect Beam doing 10 damage, that could be a one-hit KO if you're low on health. But I'm actually pretty surprised that I finished it. Uh, but, yeah, those were the first two bosses, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go back into a Luck Man stage and get the Magnet Beam, but I'm gonna be doing that off-screen, and I also believe this is gonna be where we end the episode. So, in this episode, we took down two of the six Robot Masters, and in the next episode, we're going to be taking on Iceman and Fireman. See you guys then.